welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Jay Surtees, and yeah, like I'm back with no. <laughs> okay, so my last video was not that much entertaining, and was supposed to be a get to know me, but there we try, try, try. So I took it upon myself to have the girls at my school ask me some questions, and it's a lot of them. And I keep trying to record a video, but it'd be too long, and something always happened to it. So I was like, you know what I'm gonna do instead? I'm gonna cut all those questions up. It was about two and a half pieces of paper. Cut them up, put them in this hat. And we're gonna answer questions this way. Um, all the questions are not actually personal. They're things about like my personal opinions and stuff like that too, but that's also a way for you to get to know me. So, nonetheless, we're gonna do that. So yeah, we're gonna get started. I like it because it's some serious questions and it's also like some, you know, of course, the first one, and this is actually the first question that was at the top of the list, was do you believe in marriage? Why or why not? And yes, I do. I do believe in marriage. I would love to get married. I am a very much so love to be lovey-dovey, but I will keep me to me if I got to, I guess. But I am not for the streets. I want to be married. I feel like marriage is a thing where it's a teamwork thing. And if the team not teaming in, it just don't work. Also, too, it's like learning, it's not uh, like just like outfits and stuff like that. It's like more than, it's like putting in work actually. Like, and showing up for each other when things aren't good, when things aren't bad. And yeah, I feel like that'll be right up my alley because I'm such a, I'm such a, come on, you got this type of person. You got this or whatever. I'm just looking for my, yeah, girl, you, you got this, you got this. And you know, but not down nobody or anything like that or any situation. But I ain't never been, you know. I mean, I, I I like to I like to think that you know I was I be almost there sometimes in my mind, but not nah, honestly. But yeah, I do believe in marriage. It's very possible. It's just working and practicing pure love. Um, what do you see yourself in ten years? I see myself um, also happy. Like, for me, to be in a position where I am now, to say, literally, like, just mentally, because I've done a lot of mental work. I've had to do, I have to have to be sat down, forced to sit down to do a lot of mental work. And I could say that me noticing my growth from that, um, I'm very grateful for my growth and how much work I have put in for that. So now me learning to make my physical world match my mental world, I feel like it's just, I feel like I'm attracting all this for my greater good now. I'm not so much chasing things, um, not chasing money, not chasing jobs, not chasing people, not chasing love, not just chasing, not chasing fun, like no longer chasing peace. Like I just, that's one thing. When you actually get like, learn what real peace is toxic doesn't seem so exciting and boring doesn't and, and and peace doesn't seem so boring like it's a whole i don't know it's a whole it's a whole different thing like you really can't put a price on peace it's just something that is have you ever had a threesome i have not I have not. Not against it, but I have not. One thing about me is, one, because I have to learn to be comfortable with my own sexuality, one, I don't like people to play with my sexuality, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, I know that's a fun thing, but I feel like, I don't know. Like, sometimes I, <laughs> it's bad. Like, it'll be like girls that like ask me like for that type of stuff and they'll be like, I'm like, oh, I'd be like, but the only guy I ever messed with, something like that. And they'd be like, did he send you for me or did you come for yourself? Or, like, I'm all for fun and stuff, but I hate feeling like it's a setup. That's what it is. Like, that's why, that's why I've never actually done that. I hate feeling like it's a setup. That's really why I don't really entertain a whole lot of things in that nature. Like, every most things, I, I try to keep everything platonic. Most things in my life is very platonic and... If it's not, it's always definitely a lot of 
Like, oh, that's what you want? Okay, boundaries now. Like, because I don't know. I just don't like being played with like that. And I know I'm very stingy, very selfish. So if I was to ever open up myself like that, then. Do you believe in gender roles? I believe that I'm a girl that's like, if somebody says that's for guys, uh, men supposed to do that. That's not a, I'm be like, watch me. I can do it too. Watch me change this tie. Like, I don't feel like nobody, your gender shouldn't stop you from doing anything that you want to do. I'm going to just leave it at that. And, you know, it's just you being comfortable with you and gender roles necessarily. They, most of the time you hear about that, it show up in like relationships. And I feel like your relationship should be balanced. Um, if y'all had a relationship where it's like the man is the provider and the woman is the house caretaker, then that's just how it is. But if y'all have a relationship where y'all decide to be 50-50 on stuff, then that's just how it is. It's just all how you have yours set up. And... It'll go a whole lot further if you're just worried about yours. What is your life goal? One thing I've always struggled with lately is always just, well, now I've been doing such a very, just a great job of it is maintaining my wholeness and keeping my peace and my happiness, but also learning that it's not based off of anyone else. So my life goal is honestly to, Never have myself in a place, back in the places that I came from. Um, that's mentally and emotionally. Like, them be stories for other days. But, <laughs> to like, yeah. I know what it's like to be always worried about the past. That's just very depressing. And always worried about what my future going to be like. That's a whole lot of anxiety. And anxiety, depression, <laughs> is that's a whole lot. Like, and plus, on top of that, having to worry about everything else that's around you and trying to make sure everybody else happy. And it's just learning. I'm learning to keep my cup full. That's my life code is to keep my cup full, to continue being a bottomless mimosa. I'm learning to be a bottomless mimosa. Because once you hit the bottom, it's like, dang, the glass empty. And you start looking like. So I'm learning just to keep, keep a goal in mind for when my goals is complete. Or what I feel like. As soon as I finish the goal, I need to come up with another one. And right now, my goals is to stay focused, maintain, and continue building. And once I complete that, my next step is just to stay focused, maintain, and look for something else to help me build myself help me inspire myself to just, just stay inspired that's my whole life goal is just to stay inspired what are your thoughts on a friend that never compliments you that's not your friend sis that is not your friend that's not your friend it's not your friend um being coming from or having friendships or not even having friendships because i mean <laughs> um Don't set yourself up for failure or also to don't look for problems either because sometimes everything isn't about us. And sometimes some people don't know how to pour into other people. Sometimes people don't know. People don't know exactly. Also, everybody has different love languages. And if your love language is complimenting your friends and in your friends and that's your love language but you can't expect everybody to do the same thing as you yes reciprocity is great but it's not always like that and sometimes you also have to realize um we are we do be in one-sided relationships and it doesn't have to just be a romantic relationship friendships are also like that they could definitely be like that and it's best to when you give compliments i learned do it for you not for nobody else if your goal is to make somebody else happy, make somebody else smile, then do that. But if you if you feel like you making somebody else happy is draining you, then that might not be the relationship for you. I'm trying to go off these fast. What do you think the point or purpose of life is? I really feel like it's learning to just find out what makes you happy. And how you can also spread that happiness to others. And keep that happiness. Maintain that happiness. 
learning to fill cups to fill your cup. And finding what, you know, that spark, that joy, and learning to keep it, learning to maintain it. Learning that if you don't necessarily have what we, what the world sees as abundance, learning to keep your, your abundance, however that may look. If that's family, friends, if that's you um, working, if that's you celebrating if that's you you know however you decide to keep your abundance like and nurture and grow that that's what i feel like life is about do you think men can be bad why why not i feel like if women can be men can be it's the same thing as like the gender roles is whatever you choose to be um everybody doesn't agree with that and that's fine everybody has different opinions and that's also fine that's one thing you have to realize Anybody that loves you is still going to love you for you. And if they don't, they were never for you in the first place. As long as you were comfortable with you, then whoever is around you don't have no choice but to be comfortable with it. Or they don't have to be around you. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is mint green. It is very serene, peaceful, and just... Makes me, I don't know, when you look at the color, it kind of makes you grieve. Yeah, like, at least for me. What is a turn on or off for you? A turn on for me is very nice people. The downside of that is people are always nice when you first meet them or they know how to be nice. So then it becomes a turn off when you find out, I don't like users and I also do not like mean people. I mean, we, we are here to be used, but when you try to shake me up, I don't like that. Because people know how to use you and make you feel confused <laughs> about it. How many kids do you want? I want at least two. Um, I don't know what my max is. I guess I will figure it out whenever I have the chance to have children. But I would love at least two kids. And I want a boy first, so he can protect her. Do you pick your nose? Yes, I pick my nose. How is somebody gonna get them boogies out of there? Ciao. And this is the last one in here. What are your thoughts on the overturning Roe versus Wade? Stop playing with my. No, <laughs> I feel like it's um. I feel like it's not going to stop women from not getting abortions i feel like it would stop them from safe ones that is something that i care about it's like because it's bad enough sometimes you know of course even being a black woman um health care and that type of thing so the thing you can go to jail for you know yes yeah, no the girls it's some girls out there that's living la vida loca but some people are in situations that they if they could help they they would they, they would if they could and like if you have a topic pregnancies i believe that's how it's not no pregnancy to flip up to something like that like basically a pregnancy that kill you if you've been you know violated or anything like that then you're just not protected and that's something that i that's it's a lot it's a lot um but those are my questions that I answered. I guess I'm going to say a little bit more about me, I guess, because they weren't all about me. But again, my name is Jabria. Um, but I like to go by Jay. Um, right now, I am currently, like I said, I have the girls from school ask me. I'm currently in um, cosmetology school, uh, beauty college. Um, that's about me. I am a 25 and I am really just learning to get back to loving life and living the life that I would love to live or just I'm learning to open up more. Um, I really am just on a self-love journey because I've been through, I put myself through a lot and like I said, I had to learn to just sit down and me going to school was kind of like the Kind of like a little bit of my 
finishing up my healing and my getting back to the girl I used to love. Like I've done hair since I was 15 years old. So this is, this is I guess my full circle moment coming into like actually getting back to that. I love making women feel beautiful. And I kind of got to a point in my life where I didn't feel beautiful. I couldn't, I didn't want to, it's just, it's just a whole lot. Again, it'll be another story for another time. But I got to a point where I couldn't make myself happy anymore. I wasn't aware of how to make myself happy anymore. And it's, I feel like as women, we go through a whole lot. And sometimes we forget who we are. And I'm learning to get back into who I am. And remembering just who I am. And staying grateful. And... Yeah, really just staying grateful for all my lessons and keeping them all in mind as I keep progressing. Do not mind the air come on. As I keep progressing um, on my channel, I hope to have a lot of like, I want to do a lot, not do a lot, but give y'all some content, but also to um, be able to show my journey. Like I said, um, hopefully too, y'all be able to see other people as I can learn to build better relationships that's one thing i'm working on now is learning to take the relationship i've been i've built with myself um the boundaries and things that i've learned and actually learn to have fun and share like i said share myself with other people like i've been taking myself out a little bit i've gone out with a couple a few times and i really i don't know i really have to practice going back out again because i have somebody i see with the church rock and <laughs> learning to not, I don't know, learning to not be afraid of what I look like to other people and just getting my groove back, I guess. Like I said, um, but I want to be able to use my um, channel to show that. Um, but it's a whole lot of things that I want to do and I want to be able to have something to look back on like dang that's where I started especially for where I know I'm going see now like when I talk I can get I get excited about my future I get excited about the things that I love again. and I love that I love that for me but I also want to I'm wanting to open up so I can share that with other people because If I can't make other people comfortable getting to know me, then nobody will be comfortable even want to. And that's another thing is learning how to be, I'm, it's the Aries in me. I'm so uh, impulsive and so aggressive sometimes. I'm learning how to not make other people comfortable because I'm not, I don't know. I learned to not set myself on fire to keep other people warm no more. But learning to make other people feel comfortable um, as in like, just being light, just being love, um, letting go of a lot of just what I feel like I'm supposed to be and where I feel like I'm supposed to be at and all that, just allow myself to be in the moment, not worrying about too much and yeah. But that's just a little bit more I don't want to talk too much because then I just talk too much and I get really, really off topic. But thank you for watching. That was my little bit of a QA, and a I guess. Um, and I want to try to find some other stuff that's more entertaining. Um, I'm going to start vlogging and stuff like that. Or recording myself when I go out. Sometimes I really forget to record. I have actually made vlogs and stuff like that, but... For some reason, I don't know, I also need to get more space on my phone. Sometimes I just don't have no space. And I know I keep too much on my phone, but I'm also learning to just delete stuff. Go ahead, delete stuff. Go ahead, post it so I can delete it. You know, because I just be saving too much. Um, and don't use it. Or don't, you know. So I'm learning not to force myself to post, but to do something. Um, but, yes, that is my video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Like it, something, dang. But, yeah.